Welcome to Ask the Expert. I'm Ian Vincent. Today we're going to talk about thickness gauges with Greg Bauer. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Um, thanks for coming in and bringing our thickness gauges sure. in. I wanted to learn a little bit about our thickness gauges and the difference between our gauges. Okay. Can you tell me the difference between corrosion and precision uh, thickness gauges? Sure. With thickness gauging, it really comes down to the applications. Okay. Precision, it's going to be new materials, usually for quality assurance purposes. The materials can range from metals, plastics, composites, rubber, etc. Corrosion, it's when you have a irregular back surface, corrosion, erosion type applications. This is typically just metal. Okay. Um, and they use different styles of transducers. And the two styles are dual element and single element transducers. Correct. Uh, what's the difference between the two uh, transducers? Sure. So for the precision side, we use single element transducers. There's one element that transmits the sound, one element that receives the sound. Okay. These transducers are broadband. They're heav heavily damped. So we limit how much the transducer rings. So we can actually measure thinner and get better near surface resolution. Also, since the returning signal is typically a singular, either positive or negative lobe yep. that we're measuring to, we get a more precise time of flight measurement. What type of accuracy do you get from? With single elements, you're going to get a higher degree of accuracy. So based on how we make detection with single elements, if it's a flat steel test block with parallel front and back surfaces, it's usually plus or minus two thousandths of an inch or better, depending on what mode of measurement you're using. If we used a single element delay line transducer and made detection between back wall to back wall, that's going to give us the best accuracy. In some applications, it's going to be as good as plus or minus a few ten thousandths of an inch. With the corrosion side, you're using dual element transducers. Okay. So there's two elements, one that transmits the sound, one that receives the sound, and they're kind of angled in at each other, yep. which creates kind of a pseudo focus, which gives us a lot better chance at making measurements than the irregular back surface, because the sound won't get scattered away like it will with a single element. Actually, that brings me to uh, the next question is, how are these two uh, types of testing different? So it, when you're testing for precision versus corrosion, how is that process different? Or Dual elements, because they're typically always used for metal applications, they have a center pin that auto-recognizes when they're plugged into a gauge. So the instrument can pull up the optimized setup for that transducer, also the V-path correction. Okay. Because we're sending sound at an angle, the true metal thickness is straight in and straight out, which is what we do with single elements with precision. Right. So because of that angular sound path, the dual elements and the corrosion gauges have a V-path correction to correct for that angular sound path. With the single elements, because they're used on a variety of materials, you do have to tell the instrument what probe you're using. Okay. And then you may need to make internal adjustments from there. Majority of the time, the default setup will work. You'll calibrate to your material, and you're good to go. And we have three different thickness gauges. Mm -hmm. um, what is the difference between the different gauges? Sure. So the 27MG is corrosion only, so it only uses dual element transducers. On the market, there are a lot of lower cost corrosion only instruments. But what's great about the 27MG is it's compatible with all the Olympus thickness gauge dual element transducers. It uses the same detection method as our more advanced corrosion gauges. And it has different gain settings so you can cover a wider variety of applications. Okay. The 45MG, you can add on software options as you need them, which makes it a very versatile instrument. So if you have a customer that wants no options at all, it's corrosion only. If they then have a precision application come up, they can order the single element software. We'll activate it over the phone. The 38DL Plus comes standard with precision and corrosion ability, so it can use duals and singles right out of the box. Very good. Thank you for coming in and showing us uh, the, the thickness gauges that we offer here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for joining us. Uh, if you have any questions about our thickness gauge op options, visit olympus-ims.com. Thank you.